Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do um my F1 2022 predictions. So, first I'm going to do three bold predictions um that I that I think are going to happen and then I'll do my top 10 like the um the constructor um championship. So, first let's so let's get into the three bold predictions um so for bold prediction one i think red bull are gonna have um like they won't win the title again they'll try to fight for the win but i think out of the four topping um cars ferrari mclaren um mercedes and red bull i think they will be fourth because they spend so much time working on the 2021 car I don't think they paid as much attention to the 2022 car. Um, I also don't think um, that like the engine will be as good as where it was last year because, yeah, it's the same thing, but now Honda doesn't manage anymore. I don't think Red Bull um, can manage the whole engine division while also doing great um, downforce and all of that. Um, and also, in preseason, the... The preseason testing, um, well, the first one, uh, it they look really slow. And yeah, maybe they were sandbagging, but still, like, why would you, sh um, like, why would you sandbag that much? Like, why wouldn't you just go and do a little bit, like, try know what your speed is, and then sandbag a bit? Do you know what I mean? Um, then bull prediction two is. I think Hamilton will retire at the end of this year. Um, I think Hamilton is just going to realize that um, because of all these new drivers that, that are coming, like Russell, Leclerc, Verstappen, they all are um, like really good drivers. So is Hamilton. Hamilton's a phenomenal, phenomenal driver. But I think like the chances of him winning... His eighth title now are so slim because of the amount of drivers that are to that level now. Um, so I think Hamilton will realize that, retire, and maybe create his own team or like buy over another team and just work on it. Or but I don't I don't think he'll drive anymore. Um, and bold prediction number three is I think Charles Leclerc will be the driver's world champion because ferrari looks really good um like in preseason testing they were so fast um and they also have an amazing car this year so i think that um, um charles leclerc will win the world drivers championship okay now on to the constructors order so in tenth place, I'm gonna say Williams, cause the drivers are okay, the car is okay, but I think Haas have made a lot of improvement. They won't have Nikita Mazepin this year, so potentially if they pick a really really good driver and they upgrade their car throughout the year, I think that they could um do pretty well. Not uh, amazing but i don't think they will be last place anymore and williams i think will take that position i ninth place i think it'll be alfa romeo because they'll have bottas and Ju, which i think is a better lineup than nicholas latifi and um alexander albon so maybe they'll score just the few more points than williams to just to like i think that's they'll be like ninth Eighth, I'm. I think I'll. Uh, I think it'll be Haas because they have a really good car. Um, they can make improvements through the year with. Uh, and if they if they don't no no longer have Mazepin for this year, so if um they pick a really good driver, then that can score points with Schumacher. Then I think they could maybe be ahead of both the uh, Williams and Alfa Romeo.
in eighth place i think um alpine because uh last year it looked really 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 promising about where they were gonna be but now the car doesn't look that great um um also like didn't do really well in preseason session i get so many durability fails so i think they'll be in eighth um which is a massive drop from what they were last year uh in seventh i think it'll be uh i think it'll be aston martin because yeah they do well like vettel and Scholl, they did well last year a little bit but this is the first time that they've actually designed their own car and i don't think i don't know if it'll perform that well because <clears throat> in 2019 the car was already built because of force india 2020 they copied mercedes 2021 they there was no technical regulation change so this is the first year they're building their actual first car so that's why i think they will become be um seventh because they'll finish a little bit ahead of alpine but i don't think they'll do that well um in sixth place i think it will be alpha tori um because they have pierre gasly and they have um oh wait no sorry for number five i think it'd be alpha tori because they have pierre gasly who does really well he can perform strongly like he will constantly perform well and then hopefully yuki sonoda finds what everybody was hyping him up for and i think they'll do really well and, and they'll come in fifth in fourth i think it'll be red bull because as i said before they won't have a very strong car and i think they, uh, they focus too much on f1 in 2021 and their engine department um like they might have durability fails and all of that um in third place i think it will be mclaren and norris and ricardo is a really good pairing and their car looks decent as well like they went quite fast the first day and then after that they sandbagged quite a lot um but i think they will manage to pull ahead of red bull and um win third place in constructors in second place i think it will be ferrari and yes i thought charles leclerc will win the world drivers championship but because um because of carlos and signs i think signs because ferrari will obviously favor charles over signs i think signs might not deliver because um he like they might let charles go when signs is faster or just like what they did with Hamilton and Valtteri or Perez and Verstappen. Just like a little bit less of that. But I don't think Sainz will perform that well. So that's why they will, they'll be in second. And first place, I think it'll be Mercedes because um, they have an amazing lineup. Hamilton and Russell. I think Russell will learn a lot from Hamilton. Russell will also try to fight Hamilton. And they might lose those few points by fighting each other just the way that Nico Rosberg and Hamilton did. And that's why I think Charles will win the World Drivers Championship. But they will still do a really, really, really good job um, and win the uh, Constructors Championship because um, the Mercedes um, have developed an amazing car. They have such a great lineup. And that's why I think they will be number one. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and like this video. If you agree with any of these, then um, be sure to comment that. Or if you think, if you disagree with any of them, also comment what you think um, below. And that's it.